Welcome back to Game of Thrones World, and last episode we had the godson, Harren the Third. Well, who's destined to be Harren the Third? I've married him off. Uh, Serena Whitehead, well, he's, he's betrothed. He's, he's 14 and she's 10. They're not married off. She's brilliant. She's uh, strong, indolent, willful. Not, not great traits, to be honest with you. But more to the point, she's got those congenital traits that we really need bred into the house. More to the point, she's got brilliant and something else. So even the shit children are going to come out better than average. Better than every other character, essentially. So that's looking really good. Now, what we want to do is obviously get the realm set up and in a nice place for when this kid takes over from us. Ideally, if we could get a dragon egg to pass on to him, that would be very, very useful. Bringing back magic, of course, would have its benefits as well. What we really need to do, though, immediately is use up these claims. We've got five claims on the majority of the Westerlands here. Pretty much this entire Westerlands coast. Now, it would suck if we were to die and lose those claims. Because, obviously, they're just weak claims. We've just pressed them. or, or They're not going to be inherited. Uh, if we have a look here. One will be inherited. What is that? Banefort? And that's only because the Banefort, as you remember, we lost during a civil war. Or more specifically, it, it was inherited out of the realm during a civil war. So the only one that's going to be inherited is that one. I mean, do we really want to sacrifice four claims at this stage for, for what is essentially just us trying to be clever and getting as many claims as possible so we can push them all in one war? Not really. So I'm kind of happy with where the claims are right now. We're going to push those as soon as we have them available. Because we are going to die pretty soon. I mean, we're 59 with cancer. So we would sort of expect to drop down dead any minute now. I've got a plot on King Jason of the Rock. Because unfortunately, as much as I'd like to do that, we can't. We're in truth for another, what is that, two years? Year? Yeah. Just, over, uh, just under a year, I should say. So, do we want to be 60 when we're pushing a war? Like a, a major war as well? This is going to be huge. It's 81,000 men versus what I assume is 50,000. That's going to be a big war. So, I mean, I don't want to be too old. And a year is going to be quite a significant amount of time when you're this age. So, we've got the plot going. Not only that, I've joined the Cult of Star Wizard. Or at least I've got the event sort of going in the background. Trying to, trying to fire. So, last episode I was a bit of an idiot. Well, honestly, I was skipping over that event. Because unfortunately my lungs today are really shit. So, I needed to do a big old cough. So, I stopped the recording. Now, this event fired in the background. Master Leslin... Made you drink a draft of poppy before strapping you down in the operating theatre. Turns out we had eye cancer. He's cut out our eye, which has cured us of the cancer. Unfortunately, we're now severely injured. Now, it's less of a health malice, which is obviously a good thing. Why don't we take something that's going to buff up our health? What have we got here? Just family focus in this one? Sure, we'll take that. Now, it's less of a health malice. It's only minus 2 versus minus 2.5, and that can heal over time manually. So... I think we'll be okay. I don't think we have to worry about it. Um, unfortunately, the personal combat minus 20, the martial minus 2, the fertility minus 25%, all of that crap is a little bit annoying. But, oh wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Don't even get an eye patch. Just cut it out and leave the, the gaping wound of a hole in my face. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, close friends with our sister. I thought that said Enya, famous singer. But no, it's uh, Aria. Well, that's okay. Well, that's given us a little bit more time, then. That's that's something less to worry about. Now, we are trying to join the Cult Story Wisdom, so that's going to give us more time for that event to fire. The other thing I did in the meantime is I married off, or at least, you know, did have all my daughters married off. We've actually lo lost a lot of kids. Weird. But they're all married off matrilineally, at least, to do decent commanders, to decent uh, law masters, that type of thing. So she's married to this uh, attractive dude. Uh, she's married to a pretty good marshal as well, so that's fine. One other thing I noticed is our son, Hake, became the uh, Lord Commander of the Night's Watch at the age of 18. Lord Commander Hake. Now, of course, the Night's Watch doesn't actually exist anymore. Oh, shit, it's back. Wait, no, it's not back. I thought that was that was the Night's Watch back. No, that's just the Kingdom of the Wall. Um, It's got the Rain Crown Skin Peeler. Huh. These wildlings are already dished around the treasures by themselves, eh? We really need to sort this out at some stage. It might be worth us actually launching an invasion against the north against the wildlings. Which I assume we can. Um, what is she? She's uh, beyond the wall old gods. We can't launch invasions or anything, actually. We can only launch an embargo, which is definitely not worth it. I thought there would be a, maybe a Cassus Bello with uh, sort of regular Iron Throne vassals and wildlings, but I guess not, eh? Oh, well. Let's focus on the important thing, and that's the five clones you've got in the Reach. Oh, sorry, in the uh, West Lines, because I don't want to die and lose it all. You're probably not worth keeping around. Now, unfortunately, the plot I have on this guy is probably not going to fire, because he's actually well-liked, despite the fact that he's a tyrant. He is the Holy. He's got a decent amount of pieties, fruitful, capable, you know, he's 
He's a, he's a sort of mixed ruler, but unfortunately not enough people want him dead. Although things have changed apparently a little bit since I last checked. Um, I'm not going to imprison a man for looking at your wife with lust in his eyes, so no. I mean, do we... I'm imprisoning a man for... <laughs> Shit. I'm imprisoning a man for looking at that other man's wife with lust in his eyes. Right, let's bribe some people here. No, look. They, they've, they've stopped hating him now. Why? Come on. Anyone at all? Okay, here we go. Right, we've got this man who's dressed like a baby. Why are you dressed like a baby, Terence? I don't understand. Now, let's see if that will get us up to the plot power we need. Why is this guy not joining? He's sort of considering it, but he stopped. Lord Terence Baratheon. Seems like at one stage he wanted to join the plot, but now can't. Maybe he's incapable or something. Bedridden, perhaps? No, nothing at all. Now, we've also not moved our spy master there, so we might just be able to bump it up to 100%. Yeah, we can just. So, if you like time tick now, there we go. So, we do have a chance of it happening. I'm just not going to bet on it, which is why we want to join this cult. My young son, Harren, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. So, let's go over his stats very briefly, because it's obviously the, the godson. Um, press with vague promises. What's he picked up so far? So, brooding is pretty good, assuming we get just out of it. Haughty is very bad. Nothing good can come out of that at all. We need to force to train. You're welcome. Grant him Valyrian sword. What do you want to send him? What have you said that uh, Crab's Pincer, the Valyrian steel long axe, seems more appropriate for a raider? I absolutely agree. So, we're going to keep Crab's Pincer. We'll pass on Kago's Folly. That's a much more impractical weapon. Especially against knights, like armoured knights, and our rack is not a good weapon against them. So, we'll pass that on. That's very much a symbol of house whore. Kago's folly, there you go. Now, he's going to like me more. Can he even equip that yet? No, he needs to be 14, doesn't he? Okay, fair enough. Sure. Well, you know what? He's, he's coming out okay. Now, what we want to do is probably move our master. Oh, he's already training children. That's good. We're set then. We'll have you perform statecraft, trying to improve my reputation a little bit because of our, our council factions here are... Not great. They're not in a brilliant place right now. We do have some rebellious vassals that unfortunately we can't even bribe anymore either. Can I? Did I make any more gemstones before we quit the alchemist guild? I didn't either. Shit. Okay. Well, let's get that equipped for a start. Treaties of fishing with an angle. Diplomacy plus one. Stewardship plus one. General opinion plus two. A good book. We actually got that in the other series not so long ago. So let's get that equipped. Good stat boosts all around. The difference with the Game of Thrones one is you're limited to the amount of books you can equip, unfortunately. Not a feature I personally like. I do like having a huge library. It's not like you have to constantly be reading books to get their effects, I guess. But uh, there we go. I suppose just for balance purposes, that's how they've done it. Because there are a lot of books in this mod. So fair enough. Can't argue with it too much. It's not like it's my mod or anything. So uh, keep my opinion to myself on that. Oh, shit. That's not good. The horrific wound from your maiming is now stinking and oozing pus. We've got a pussy eye. Uh-huh. Yeah, go on. Now, we could die of an infection very easily. Again, it's health minus 2, whereas cancer was a health minus 2.5. We've also taken the family focus. The stat negative from it is very significant, though. You know, we are losing 15 over the over our 5 stats, which is pretty inconvenient. John, why don't you like me? Legalized slavery. Domain too big. Yeah, fair point. Okay, let's give away some domain. Now, I assume we've got a tower in Heron Hall or something. Nope. Okay, what have we picked up, then? Okay, Cod Hall and Nine Holt we've always had. Old Wick. Did we inherit that? Lord Sport? Oh, we got River Run back, didn't we? Right, of course. That's fine. Um, we've also got Harren Hall, which we definitely want to keep. We want to keep Harren Hall and River Run, I think. Let's give away Old Wick. Oh, sorry, Lord Sport. We had Old Wick as well, but Old Wick is much, much better province than uh, Lord Sport just because of the... Wait, is it though? How many men can we raise from here? 1,300. This one we can raise 420. And I'm also looking, what, what I actually initially based it on is looking at the tax bar here. Way more tax from this one. Fuck all from this one. This one's also developed by our trade master. So let's give uh, Old Wick away. Here you go. Sea Stone Isles, you can have that. That's part of your du jour realm. Make him like me a bit more. Also, we'll fix our domain problems. Killing multiple birds with one stone there. It's also house hall, so it's not like I've got to worry about uh, losing some members of, or losing that land from our house permanently. Dynastic Kinslayer, though. Ooh, not impressed by that. Priest. Okay, sure. Now, let's take a look at our vassals. We want to make sure, again, our vassals like us a lot so that when we die and our son inherits, we've got uh, we've got it set up nicely so we're not, you know, getting tyrannical stain or opinion of predecessor negatives and things like that. Euston. A trancer. What do you have? A trancer? What is this? 
Part of Harrenhal. Right, I see. He's got a lot of land. Actually, I'd like for him not to have that land, to be honest with you. He's just got Blur and Steel. He's got an, also another copy of Crab Spincer. There seems to be a lot of those kicking around. I think we've had an issue with the artifacts. Okay, sure. Um, let's call them for trial. Throw him in the Oubliette so he gets minus 20 diplomacy. Do we have that option? Throw in Oubliette. Why can't we do that? It's not immune. Oh, right. Okay, of course, because we imprisoned him. Trial by combat. I prefer trial by combat. Can I do it myself? No, because we're ill. Oh, shit. Okay. Who have we got then? We've got uh, Tytos or Tyos, the hunter, 40. Hagon Hor, 60. Pretty good. Or we have uh, Lajo, son of Horo. Dothraki, my brother in law. Sure, okay, why not? Combat modifier, 105. Jogo, son of Harrow, fight for me. Fight well, Lajo. You watch in glee as Lajo drives the sword recklessly at Blue Cockroach. Oh, wait, this guy is uh, a. Well, this guy's a. Um... Come on, what's the word? Unsullied. Lady of the Spears. Eunuch, skilled fighter, skilled commander, former slave. Wow. This Dothraki be an unsullied. That's pretty rare. Sure. Dragon gods are not in their favor. What should we do with him then? We could execute him. Send him to the wall. Let him rot stay as my guest. Let's send him to the wall. What happens to his lands? Now, we only inherit them if his entire house dies out or they are traitors to the realm. Now, that guy wasn't a traitor to the realm. He was just a traitor to, to another one of our vassals. So, Kidnap him. Kill him off. 400% plot power. Again, I'd rather rely on the Cult of Starry Wisdom to take out this guy, seeing as we're going to be waiting probably ages for that plot to fire anyway. 81% um, chance that's happening pretty much instantly, and it was safe. 75% chance no one discovers who kills him off. I mean, we've got very lucky with this event, although we probably shouldn't take that into account, seeing as that's Gambler's Fallacy. Let's just kill him off. Let's work on stats alone. Did pretty well. I think we got away with it as well, seeing as... Yep, nothing happened. Finger Eater? Valyrian Steel Sword? What is happening with this? If we kill off their whole house, we'll inherit their Valyrian weaponry as well, bearing in mind. So, uh, let's do that. You're next on my hit list. Let's get rid of you. Should be fairly straightforward. Morale of armies plus 10%. Definitely better than levy size. We've already got more than enough levy size, I think, at this stage. 81% chance. Done. She dies quietly. Again, I think we got away with that. I'm not sure. Alright, next one. It seems a little bit overpowered. Is it just me thinking that? Just immediately kidnapping these kids. Very low chance of failure, both in the murder and in the actual kidnapping. Alright, John Hangmeyer. Uh, preferably whatever gives you the highest opinion. Sure, we're just sending some gold. There we go. She dies quietly. Now for the next one. What is your opinion of me? Yep. No one knows that we've killed those people, so... Uh, we could get it to revolt. I think that would give us a reason for revocation. Let's try it. 250%. Holy shit. Immediately? Can we can we bribe some people as well? Yeah, another 30%. 15%. Again, we just got to focus on getting this round together so that our son is going to be awesome when he inherits. He's got everything set up for him, essentially. Now, when's the next time we can force you to train? Uh, we've got to wait till the 14th of August. Right. Mental note. Got to wait a couple of months. Got to be very, very careful about that. Get him up to skilled fighter as soon as possible so there is a chance he become a master warrior. He's coming out really well in... Why did I train him in Thrift? Oh, right, that's because I train everyone in Thrift. He's coming out really well in Stewardship. Unfortunately, he hasn't picked up uh, Curious, which is the, what, the only thing we really want from Thrift, unfortunately. Large Merchant Caravan, sure. Mythical Ram of UT. And we got a Slave. Attractive Eunuch. Well, that seems a bit pointless, doesn't it? Um, sure, why not? We'll take him. My King. My impression, my mission to improve your good name has been a success. Lord Reaver, John Hangmeyer, he was the troublemaker, so that's helping out a little bit. All right, any other vassals we can bribe? I don't recognize your hair. Oh, no, apparently we've already, uh, already bribed that dude. What have we got? Just court jester. Maybe not, eh? What about the leader of the faction? We can bribe him as well. That should make, make those two leave, at least. Allow the jewels? Sure, I'm not going to turn my vassals against me for disallowing jewels. Have him killed immediately. We got really lucky with that event as well. There's some gold for you, you troublemakers. Chris Count's power is probably the worst thing we could ask for. Oh, it's a crown loyalist faction. There's me trying to bribe them. What an idiot. Yeah, and Chris Count's power is definitely the dangerous faction here. Tyus Smith died of poor health. 70% chance of the revolt firing. Let's do it. Shit, failed. And we got dishonorable. No. 
That's really bad. Just as we started to clear out the increased counter power. Shit. Oh, well. Um, how would you like a scimitar, my friend? You enjoy that? Very nice sword. Serve me very dearly on my mantelpiece gathering dust. We lost the trait infection. Awesome. What a gracious gift. Why don't we send her a gift as well? We've got plenty of, like, spares. So it's not like we have to worry about it here. Um... Scimitar of Fortune is absolutely no use to us seeing as we've got Valyrian Steel. So here you go. 60 opinion. Holy shit. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, do you guys want to leave that faction or not? I'd appreciate it if you did. There we go. Perfect. Alright, factions are dealt with. Good, good, good. Right. That's one thing down. We've just got to worry about now, obviously, getting these claims before we die. And then our son's ready to take over, more or less. Trademaster. Uh, who have we got? Not really anyone good. Let's go ahead and just find... Someone from the list. Join court. Yes, and we'll reset everything else. I think this can be just about anyone. 12 stewardship is really the best. Are you sure about that? Really? Oh, it actually is. I'm sure we've got someone better in our court that can do that. Anyone higher than 12 stewardship? Yeah, our salt wife can have it. There you go. Um, why don't we send her some gold as well? Just to just to get her going. There you go. I didn't get her, get her profits going. <laughs> Uh, focus on investing, as per usual, just because we're getting more gold than we can spend, so we might as well try and convert it back into the provinces. Probably a lot of you screaming at the screen telling me to upgrade my buildings. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I apologize. I'm, I'm being a bit, like, tunnel vision on one thing, and that's just getting this inheritance sorted out. I was worried a lot about inheritance with this character, because all of our sons came out really bad. Now we've got this golden son, we need to make sure he stays that way. Ha, <laughs> no pun intended. All right. My liege, the highly prosperous economy of the round is greatly increased demand for good. Of course. Here you go. Have some gold. Um, Somebody's trying to blackmail my sister or something along those lines. We got winter. Right. Those guys really aren't getting back to me in a hurry, are they? Cult starry wisdom. Anybody? Anyone want to let me join? Influence 6%? Maybe there's just not enough members? Well, I mean, the society can only exist if there's 20 members, so there must be. Weird. Um, well, we won't worry about it too much. Make him disappear. Excellent. No claims for you. What can we do with our gold? I mean, we could buy a faceless man. Unfortunately, last time I tried it, it was 5,500 gold. Oh, our claims are... Hang on. <laughs> All right, let the war begin. <laughs> I kind of completely overlooked the fact that uh, when we were 60... Rebel leader, that's not true at all. When we were 60, our claims disappeared anyway. 108,000 men. God damn. Pike, what has happened? 71,000 men. We've got attrition just for raising troops. Oh, Jesus. We could do with way more uh, boats, actually. That's something I need to focus on now, rather than actual troops. Good for defending the realm, I guess. We can leave behind 71,000 men and still have enough men to siege down just about every province in Westeros. Pretty useful. All right. So we'll actually go land at Pike to start off with. And once those boats have moved, what we'll do is we'll take all of our men on the mainland and move them into here to start off with, just because that's obviously one of the war goals. So we want to take it straight away. Why have we got that person marked special interest? Hara Tully. Oh, she was, uh, she was the girl we were going to make our concubine. I remember. Right. Now, how many men have we got just on the mainland by itself? I don't really want to get you guys. 20,000 men just on the mainland. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Let's get you guys on the boats. We are never going to have enough boats to move this army. We can split it, but not by much, unfortunately. Is that 60,000 men just from the holding of Pike? Good lord. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate because it means we do need 600 boats minimum. Well, 6,100 boats minimum to be able to transport those men. Bit annoying. Um, my king, I've been offered the seat on the Conclave, the governing body of the Citadel. Send for a new maester. Uh, why don't we, then, with this large fleet, move them down into their capital? And do we want to leave troops... 17 Marshall, probably not worth it unless we've really not got anyone better at all. Um, what have we got? No, oh, we really don't. Wow. Why are our commanders so bad? Let's try and employ someone new. Cell sword. 10 Marshall. God damn. Uh, Alright, drink or... Yes, let's see what we can get. Well, that's probably problem with Dishonorable, I guess. Right, let's just take a look, see if we haven't got anyone better at all. So, 9, 9, 9. Okay, well, you're 10, which is... Oh, God, our commanders are terrible. Sure, okay, why not? We're going to have to lead troops then, seeing as everyone else is pretty incompetent. So, we get Larjo and Hagon there. 17, 15, 15. Sure, let's auto-balance it. 
Now, I might want to put more troops on the center just to make up for my own decent marshal, at least somewhat better marshal, but uh, that's fine. Okay, Castle of Rock shouldn't take too long to siege here. Our troops are just about to get their main bulk of our force. Flint Cliffs has been converted to Gilded Kraken. I suppose that's a good part of, you know, the traditional Westerlands, or sorry, the traditional Iron Throne faiths having so much low moral authority. Even though we've only got something like 35, we're still going to convert them much, much quicker than any other religion, so... It's not like the Wildlings are going to convert the Faith of the Seven, but the Faith of the Seven has had so much authority eroded away by the, uh... It's a bit of the ledger here. Just take a look. Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. What page is it? I always forget. Religions, here we go. Right. Authority. Faith of the Seven. Well, ignore me. Apparently they're still at 100 moral authority, despite the fact we're converting them. That doesn't make much sense to me. Well, there we go. Now, the real question is, what are the Wildling religions at? Old Gods, 35%. They're actually better than us, but we're converting them more efficiently. Oh no, they're slightly below us actually. My mistake. We really need to get this to the top of the leaderboards, because that's essentially what this is. The Bearded Priests are doing pretty well as well, considering they're sort of a minor religion. We're going to get to that top of that leaderboards, don't you worry. Weeping Lady, no followers, 100% moral authority. Huh. Yeah, why not? Maybe that's game coded, I'm not sure, because it's like sort of one of those special religions. And on the plus side, enough of our men have died to attrition now that we can actually put them on boats. So, that's a win-win. Uh, what we'll do then... Why don't we hot-swap them out? So, why don't we move them here? Let's merge these units. I'd rather have 40,000 men for siege than 18,000 men. I was saying that, we can't split those up. No, you know what? Change my mind. We're gonna, we are going to keep these guys around just to fight off any invaders we actually get on the Iron Isles. Uh, Alright, that's one province taken. Now, we've got to take this one. What are we actually declaring war for? Bainfall, Casterly Rock, Feast Fires, and Case. So this one, this one, and this one as well. So we'll move down to Feast Fires first and sort of siege our way back up. By that time, we should have finished the one with Casterly Rock. Where are his armies? Where are your armies, Jason? Oh, they're all the way over there. Holy shit. Well, I'm not going all the way over there. Not today. All right. Well, luckily, numbers have sort of stabilized at Casterly Rock. Really? That doesn't count as fort level 10. That doesn't seem right at all. Oh, okay. I suppose it's not Lannisport? I thought Castle Rock was supposed to be incredibly difficult to siege, but maybe not, eh? Well, this should be a pretty easy war, then, if his troops are over the other side of the continent. We've taken Castle Rock, but their king is not here. Put his family in the dungeon. Might as well finish the siege. 34%. Uh, try to bribe him? Sure. Siege to the trade post. Done. 44%. We need some battle war score. Aha. And they've landed it right on my doorstep. That's considerate of them. It can be lonely during a long war campaign. So who can blame a man for having someone to warm his bed at night? I shall legitimize it. Uh, the child is not mine. No, that's not mine. First night claimed? I didn't claim first night. What are you talking about? Making up lies. That, that is legitimately fake news. Alright, let's move you guys over and stop the siege of Harlor before it gets out of hand. Ah! Lord Dagon approaches you, my liege. I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. Would require some gold and patience, and the work would take a year to complete. So be it. Surprise me. Awesome. We're going to have a statue built in our honor. Assuming he doesn't, you know, fuck it up. Why do we lose a lot of our troops there? Weird. Oh, did we lose our center? My mistake. Prince Haran Hor. You will get the best education possible. Can I spend more gold? Like, I will spend all 3,000 gold if that's what it takes. Oh, God. Um. Huh. I'm going to take stewardship because stewardship is easiest to level up the actual education trait. To get him up to Midas Touch is much easier than trying to get him up to, you know, Grey Eminence or, uh, or, uh, you know, dub the Intrigue one. Oh, well. So, uh, we're still educating him, aren't we? Why not? I mean, we've got patient, that's fine. Unfortunately, we've got cruel. Let's try and, maybe we try and get rid of those at this stage. Ah! Is it worth trying to sacrifice our health in exchange for becoming a better educator to our son? Probably. Honestly, yeah. So the second we can, I'm going to flip over to rulership focus just so we can try and get rid of some of those more negative traits and pass the good ones onto our son. Could you not counter siege us? Let's go and stop that. A former Reachman has approached me, offering to tutor my ward. Absolutely. 60% chance of him gaining Gregarious. Let's keep an eye on his diplomacy as well. He gained four diplomacy and gregarious. Holy shit. Sir Boss Hightower, my friend, have some gold. 
You did well with my son. I appreciate that. Well, that was very lucky. Okay. No use for another retainer. Sell it. We've got water focus on. I can't be dealing with slaves right now. Um, what's to lend a slave revolt? Oh. Was that what I... Oh, right. That was what I did. Okay, sure. We might as well have these guys sieging duchies until we see some of their troops walk up. Because, again, I'm not marching halfway across the world through the mountains to go and fight some battles that we don't really need to fight, honestly. Oh, there's some. That'll do it. Thanks. Uh, no, get rid of it. Yeah, duchies. We'll try and hit those first. This also gives us a bigger vision as well. We'll try and siege some uh, important duchies. So we'll take this one, take this one, just so it gives us vision on these sort of adjacent provinces. How long until the feast fires are done? We took some splint mail armor. That would do as a good gift for our vassals. And the crag is converted to gilded kraken. Awesome. Good news. Alright, now for case. Population in Branhope. Thank you very much. Good news as always. Holy shit. Get a lot of unrest here. Let's do a revised abandonment led by sword Dorn and Warlord of Runestone. I hereby enact a series of laws empowering the council. I don't care. Doesn't, not really relevant to me at all, I'll be honest with you. Denon Smith. I, I don't care about Denon Smith. I don't know why you think I care about Denon Smith, I'll be honest with you. <gasps> King Jason had my bastard daughter Amira executed. He hanged a baby? What is wrong with you? Who hangs a baby? I didn't realize I had a bastard daughter. I suppose that was the one that came out of the uh, war then, eh? Well. I'm gonna salt the earth you walk on, you shit. Who the hell hangs a baby? That's crazy. How do his vassals not completely hate him for that? He's already a tyrant, I suppose, so... I mean, it can't really get much worse. His vassals still love him. Good lord. Jason the baby lyncher over there. All of his vassals loving him still. Right, I'm... I'm actually going to exact bloody murder on that. The monument promised by Lord Dagon is finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed. And you notice the crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. I have no words. Meanwhile, in Castle Rock, King Jason unveils his own statue. It's a baby being hanged. And his vassals fall to their knees. And bow before him, clapping. Oh, King Jason. <laughs> no. Um, it's task talents will be useful here. Sure, why not? We'll take some free slaves. Um, old King Harren had thousands of slaves chained and working under whip. What if you thought that this might actually be because we don't have any slave camps in Harren Hall itself? We actually... Oh, we do have slave camps in Harren Hall. I was just about to agree with you, but you're wrong. <laughs> um, oh, no, wait. Hang on. Put the prisoners to work. Well, they're slaves enough, I guess. Close enough. Why not? 100% war score. I will take those five promises. Thank you very much. We've successfully seized the Lordship of Case. I'll take it for myself. I'll take it myself. It's slightly increased revolt risk, but it means we won't have vassals that hate us, making it easier for our lovely son, as always. Right. You guys need to get on these boats and kill that rebellion. The war between our the war has been run, and our enemies' armies have been defeated, crushed, and the loyalist forces have been defeated. King Jason Lannister, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear judgment. Part of me wants to kill him and his whole family for hanging a baby. But also because this game is a piece of shit. If I execute a man who hanged an innocent baby, I'm the tyrant. You know what? Fuck your rules. I want their heads on pikes. Oh, you know what? This seems appropriate, doesn't it? Hey, remember this scene, Jason. Get hanged, son. Get hung, son. <laughs> Hanged on the orders of Iron King Harren II. I avenged you, my lovely daughter, who I love very dearly, whose name I definitely... Amira. Amira, you have been avenged. You may rest now. Young Amira, who I didn't even know existed till, he, till, till she was dead. Good. Good work, team. High Lordship of the Crag. Let's go ahead and give that away to some, some vassal. Yeah, you'll do. Uh, High Lordship of the Crag. You are more than welcome. My loyal friend. We're we'll putting the old council. Let's put these troops down. Although they might need to help out, actually. I was an idiot. And uh, we might be okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. 
We're fine. Luckily, I think they had some retinues in them. Nope, there were no retinues there. We just got very, very lucky. Holy shit, that was dangerous. 100% wall score. Goodbye. Oh, there are our retinues. We don't have many men left. I do need to rebuild those. Awesome, look at this. We've got the entire coast now, almost, besides Morn Hill. But, uh, again, I didn't want to risk it by hanging around for too long. Do we have the Duchy of Caste? Oh, we don't, right. I, I do want that, if you don't mind. Lord Carlin of the Rock. I guess you don't like me, eh? Demands vengeance. You know what? Bring it. Bring your 20,000 men against my... Oh, only 33,000. You know what? Wait a while, then bring it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Next episode, I think he'll be ready. Oh my god, Gregarious and Erudite. 17 learning. Now, one of you said that that actually boosts up. Oh, his wife actually came out looking like a human being. Oh, that's nice. Good for him. One of you said that the amount of learning they've got affects how good their education comes out. It's apparently a big thing as part of the education in this. He's got 17 learning. That's really, really good. Forced to train. His understanding of theoretical warfare is better. Not only did he increase in that, but he also increased in martial. What more can I do here? We need to give away some domain, but I'll do that in, the, in between episodes. Yeah, see you next time. Good game.